We have an unbelievable job. We have an unbelievable crew. We have unbelievable families. We have really unbelievable fans. And so our job as a band is to try and become unbelievably good. And we're trying our best. I would love it if in 20 years I would look back on this and think, oh, that's, where, that's when I feel like we start to become really good. Or it's like the beginning of a good patch for us where we start to really be free and not worried about the people that don't like us, but really grateful for the people that do and trying to make colorful music that, that they like and we like, where it's just freedom of expression. And, you know, I, mean, I see this tour as like the, the last kind of shackles being thrown off of being worried about what anyone thinks. Through the course of Milo's Arlato, I'd say that as a band, we're functioning better than we ever have. We've all, we've been through all the breakups and addictions and arguments and financial disagreements and Phil not being here for a bit or not uh, working properly together in the studio or falling out about which hours someone likes to work with. So we're a very private band. We don't tell anyone very much. We definitely don't tell anyone about all the darker side of things because we don't really believe in that rock and roll cliche myth thing. You know, we, we feel like everyone in the world, whether you work in a biscuit factory or the White House, there's things going on and struggles and issues and just because you're in a band doesn't make that any more glamorous or... Do you see what I'm saying? So we don't tend to focus on the negatives. But of course, like everyone else, negatives come up, but we're really lucky that we've worked out how to deal with them and help each other through them and come out the other side a bit stronger. It's, it's, it's wonderful. It's that chemistry that people are coming to see as much as anything else. Because at the end of the day, that's what makes a band special. You're not, you're not prodigiously talented musicians, you're not virtuosos, but you have a chemistry that no one else in the world has. So you don't fuck with it. It's by learning to sort of pick each other up, I think it feeds back into the music and into the concert in a, in a, in a really positive way. Sometimes it's overwhelming, like, you know, the fact that we are having the best time as a band this far in. And we have a lot of ideas about how to make the concert even better and get better songs. And at the moment, there's kind of an understanding between the five of us of how we each function. And it's really amazing. It's like when people who've been married for 70 years tell you, oh, you just got to work really hard at it and it'll get better. And you're like, what does that mean? Well, I, now we're starting to kind of understand that every time we have a crisis, we sort of tighten up again and move on. So in that sense, we're so blessed to have a band because it's sort of always fixing itself. Everything feels possible when it's really so exciting to go to work every day.